Decriminalizing small amounts of marijuana is gaining traction. City of Sarasota commissioners unanimously agreed this week to draft an amendment to city code, making it a civil offense, not criminal. One commissioner suggested it would help with jail overcrowding, but the sheriff tells 10 News reporter Isabel Mascareñas he doesn't think this change will help. Will decriminalizing marijuana help your jail overcrowding any? Decriminalizing marijuana is not going to touch my jail overcrowding. We have a jail overcrowding problem. Sarasota Sheriff Tom Knight says he told Commissioner Hagen Brody this weeks ago when discussing Brody's proposal to give a civil citation for anyone caught with less than 20 grams of marijuana instead of the year in jail the first degree misdemeanor carries now. But during Monday night's commission meeting, Brody cited several studies, including one by Florida Tax Watch, that says this change would cut down on jail overcrowding. Crowding. For any commissioner of the city of Sarasota to use a jail as a talking point, as an analogy, or to think that the jail population can be um, repaired or fixed because they want to decriminalize marijuana is disingenuous to the citizens of their city, um, erroneous, and I would just call it a falsehood. And I've never said that, that was, it was a silver bullet to fix jail overcrowding. I proposed this change uh, because it's the right thing to do. Do I think it will have some impact on the uh, incarceration at the county jail? Some. Small, but I do think it will have some. The sheriff says not according to his data. Sarasota Sheriff's deputies made 7,267 arrests last year. Only 34 were for marijuana possession under 20 grams. 34 arrests, handcuffs by Sarasota County Sheriff's deputies, says the leadership of the sheriff's office, their sheriff has told them, we are not here to leave adverse impact on people's lives and careers. Knight says he encourages deputies to use discretion. We focus on more intensive things. We focus on opioids. Um, we focus on meth. We're focusing on burglaries. We're focused on deputies in the communities. Even then, Knight says the jail is overcrowded, mostly with felons. The jail is designed for 1,075 inmates, but operational capacity is 836. There are currently 900 inmates in custody. That's 64 over the limit. 18 other communities have done this throughout the state of Florida. We are following the legislature's uh, uh, direction. It's a leadership issue, not a policy issue. And Sheriff Knight says making a policy to decriminalize marijuana or other misdemeanor crimes will create a source of revenue for cities, but says it will lead to confusion because the rule will not apply countywide and it exposes law enforcement agencies to civil litigation. Knight says more diversion programs to help those with drug or mental health problems are better solutions to the jail overcrowding problem.